So in the past year or two years maybe, in 2002 had the best year of my life for my sound career. And then the strikes happened, which were the writer strikes. And they were because of AI, artificial intelligence. And then the actor strikes came in. Since all that happened, in the past like year, I decided I would um, invest a bit of money in myself, as in my sound gear, which on a reality show down in Devon for Amazon Prime, uh, I was effectively running around after five sound recordists um, with new batteries, and I had to run around and make sure all the reality stars, each person's um, battery power was perfect. While I was there, I said to the um, sound recordists, I would love to do what you do. You need a recorder, sorry, you need this, you need that, you need the other. To start with, you can't do what we're doing, you haven't got the gear, but you can do interviews and stuff like that. So if you want to learn the gear, use this. The sound device is 633. They are now discontinued, but they are still being serviced for another another few years, four, five, six, they said 10 years, two years ago. So I'm just gonna wait, give it four or five years and I might give it off to somebody else and upgrade if the industry gets better. Because at the minute I'm considering leaving the industry because it's not sustainable and we all have bills to pay and I don't know how I've carried on. But anyway, then um, I got my 416 and it was great, I used it for years now, amazing thing. Quite a long boom, uh, boom from I think at the minute. So a place where the ceiling's quite low and it's quite wide, you can't really get in there very much. It's not really easy. I got on a, a show called Man Like Mole Bean, and I used a fifty and an eighty sixty for indoors, depending because the eighty sixty has a lot more suction power from a lot from a f further distance, and a fifty is good for if you if you if you're close up basically. Like if it's just like this kind of thing where I've got quite a bit of room above my head a little bit and I can still get in there. It sounds nice and warm and four and six is very directional. It needs to be on point, on axis. See, this is that's where you can really learn how to boom with a four and six. The first networking event, I went on a Ursa strap. Um, met Simon finally after I've had a phone call with him years ago. I met him. It was great. Um, and, uh, and he knew who, remembered who I was, which is really nice, a few years down the line. I need some more Ursa straps. So I got a few more Ursa straps. I got uh, some more smaller um, waistbands because I had some mediums and sometimes if you've got a skinny person, you have to basically wrap them up like a mummy and it's just no good. So I got some small ones. I got a thigh strap. I got um, another... Um, ankle strap because some people like this stuff on the ankle especially if you've got tight clothes and you've got and you can put it on the ankle cover it with a sock or whatever or the pants and you can't see it so if i use that he likes to have his radio mic if he can around his ankle because it's just out of the way and then you put the radio mic up there somewhere you leave that done so i got some ankle straps for that because what was two people that want them on there because they're wearing tight clothes i'm a bit buggered much there so if i need to just put it hook it on a, on a, um, a ja inside jacket or down the back of some pants or down the back of a skirt for instance on a lady or whatever I can hook it onto the back of the skirt on the inside or hook it on the inside of a coat or... I also got an, a new IEM this is a relic art if, um, if a director wanted to hear what, the, what I was being recorded but there was four people talking I, I was like sorry I can't give you that and I felt like sometimes that might have stopped me getting jobs. So I bought 800 figures, it's a free one. So you should always keep your IM frequency separate, I think, to your radio frequency. So there's no interference. And I got that because then I can have four radios and let the director hear what um, what is being said. And then obviously you can see I've got all my radios there. And obviously out of the radios, I needed to buy a box because after a while I'm like, there's only so much you can put in a in a um, in a bag. But it's good. It's like a cheap pelly case. Does the job. Nice and compact. I got all my uh, lavaliers in there. My time code in there. And like that, it's nice and nice. I went and I bought this. I went from a K Tech to an Orca bag. 
and then I can have my radios in here, my my receivers, have my um, my battery um, holster down there, so a percentage is left in the battery without having to take my bag off and all, so I can just check it and be like, yep, there's half there, nice, well I can do another couple of hours with that, boom, boom, boom. My sound device is 633 there, I don't know why that's up there. And obviously I got this because I was sick to death of having to root through it all. So I got this so I can pull my boom straight into there. Because I'm not going wireless as of yet. Because I just don't want to. Um, I'm, you don't need to. Most of the time when you're recording on your own, you don't need to go wireless um, at all. Get some tuber grip. You can cut them. The last for ages, cut them, double them up and it holds your radio pack on around the thigh there. So I got two different ones depending on people's own size. And you can either wash them easily or chuck it away and it's cost nothing for a okay. saved up and got an mkh 50. and i've wanted one of these for so long i haven't quite decided about those tabs yet what to do on them but i'll figure it out as i've used it i haven't used it yet and obviously that's my that's my um my 416 with the ryko mount but i wanted a 50. So I got this 50 and the people in Rycote got bought out and all the people, a lot of people got um, made redundant. So they, they started making Radius. And so I thought, right, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon. I'm going to support a new, some people who got made redundant. So I got a 50 with a Radius mount, which is really good. See, it looks a lot more sturdy than, to be honest, than the Ryko. That, that's the basic cable management, so I got that. And then Bumblebee decided they would do a trading, giving your um, your rat old Ryko windshield, the fluffy thing that goes up over that, and they will give you 35 quid off their, one of their products. This, and it actually is, does feel a lot more, a lot nicer a lot less tangleable black so you won't see it as much on set which is even better the other ones are grey and i got a nice new one with the pull string there you go pull string as opposed to the two little velcro straps i got with it so i'm happy with that and obviously if i get i have two microphones i needed another pellet so i got another bigger pellet it's massive this compared to that pellet i mean i could have, could have probably got it in that pellet but i got it in this one so I've got the 50, 40, 416 in there, I've got the 50 there, the, the radius um, cable management and that. What else have I got? Oh, I've got, some, I've got another, another battery charge and some more batteries because sometimes when I'm using up batteries, I always worry that I'm not going to have enough. What happens if all four radios go out? What happens if this happens? What happens if that happens? So I thought, right, I'd better um, get some more batteries, just eight more batteries. And so, with all that said, I, I um, I've been doing a lot of, uh, like I said, with the with the Ursa workshop, and got some Ursa kit mounts, and then I went to a masterclass for Sennheiser to learn all about frequencies and what they're bringing in, what they're bringing out, and they they're focusing very much on um, more on live sound at the minute, it seems. Um, so basically, what all everything I've upgraded to this time is. Stuff that's essential for me doing my job, if it ever picks up. I see quite a few people doing a lot of work recently. Hopefully that'll come to me soon because I'm either going to have to jump out of the industry and get a normal, normal full-time job, or um, and then go do this do this sound job, sound work um, part-time, or not at all for a while. But end of the day, I've got everything I need. I don't think I need anything else. I've probably spent quite a bit of money in the last year or so on sound stuff, but it's all about upgrading to make things easier for me, make things better and quicker for other people. Thanks again for watching and uh, I hope you like this video.